All right, what's up, you guys? This is Hugo33100 here today with a small video review of the uh, Segate replica my, or Segate my desk. I think these are what these are called. Uh, kind of fail there. Anyway, uh, this is the two terabyte edition. There is a 500 gigabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte, and then um, in order to get the three terabyte, you have to buy online. But at a Costco where I purchased this drive, it was uh, only in one terabyte and two terabyte. This drive cost me about $199 at the time. I bought this in 2012, and uh, it's 2 terabytes. Anyway, features about the drive, let's start off with, uh, it's, again, it's 2 terabyte. Uh, I'll get to pros and cons later. Uh, I guess I'll just do them now then. Uh, uh, features about the drive, it's 3.5, inch uh, desktop style drive on a dock. The docks are interchangeable, so you can go from USB 2.0 to FireWire 400 to FireWire 800, and then a combo of FireWire 800 and USB 2. Um, so let's get on with the pros and cons. Pros about this drive, it is really fast, 7200 RPM, uh, 3.5 inch, and then 2 terabyte. Second, it has this, um, it has this kind of indicator, sorry about the mess, um, it has an LED for power telling you that's on and off. It pulses kind of like the MacBook's light when you uh, make it sleep. So if I uh, close the lid, it does this effect uh, as it reads and writes. It just dies down and goes back up. Um, I don't know if you can see the dimming factor. Anyway, let's open that up again. Uh, and then these four LED lights uh, are lights to indicate the capacity. So one light, uh, it since it's two terabytes, 2 divided by 4, it just does that, so it would be 0 .25, so every uh, 250 gigs this would light up, and when it's full, like close to 2 terabytes, it would be full. Um, I hear that since these LEDs can dim, uh, it does like a gradient, so if it's like at, let's say, 1.5 terabyte used, you'd have this fully lit up, but let's say 1.1 terabyte used, this would be kind of dim, so I guess that would work like that, although it's not too important, it's there. Uh, the docking feature, if I can uh, just put this on its side real fast. Kind of messy, I don't know what that is. Looks messy. Um, let's get the dock on top of here. The dock, uh, they come in different versions. It's all just the same dock. How the dock works is inside here, there is a logic board, motherboard, whatever, circuit board, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then four pegs to hold, or three pegs actually, to hold the hard drive up sturdy. These pegs are really tight, they're not just like little break off pieces of plastic. These actually have like a inline aluminum or whatever. Here's where the power goes. It's a 12 volt, 2 amp uh, power supply. So you're going to get some power out of this, um, especially with the 2 amps. And then USB. This is a 5 pin USB type B uh, female connector. Uh, so you can get some USB 2.0 out of this. I don't have the FireWire one because my MacBook does not support FireWire 800 or 400. And I think that they make a Thunderbolt version, but I'm not too fully sure on that one. Uh, more pros on this, uh, since the speed is really fast, the bottleneck is not the drive, um, and I'll get to bottlenecks in a second, the bottleneck is not the drive because the drive is at 7200 and it's at fast read and write, and the only bottleneck is here, the dock, because the dock can be 2.0, firewire, 400-800, or combo, and, um, that's kind of the bottleneck here is the, um, the dock or your computer. Next with the cons. Uh, this shouldn't discourage you from buying it. Uh, this should only just tell you before you realize that, oh, I bought this, why didn't he tell me? Well, I'm not here, I'm not their marketer, so I'm just saying what well, my cons are in my perspective. Cons, uh, as a pro and kind of a con, it's powered. You need to have the power supply. Uh, without it, it won't it won't power itself off of USB. So it can be a good and bad thing. Maybe you don't. Ha maybe you're at a friend's house. You have your MacBook charging, and then uh, they have something else plugged in, and you can't plug in your hard drive. Um, so you're kind of just laid off there. The hard drive uh, cable is decently long. It's not too long, uh, so it might not be as portable. This isn't supposed to be portable. But let's say you're going to a friend's house and you have a bunch of music you want to have. Let them have. You, you want to bring over the drive. Um, it's got a lot of shock sensitivity on here, so if you shake it, it's going to um, tell you that it's been disconnected, so it's not portable. That's another con. Anyway, um, another con is it's not too quiet, which I'll get to sound. 
basically, the four rubber feet on the bottom help dissipate the vibration caused by the hard drive. Because if it didn't have the rubber feet, you'd be hearing this thing vibrating like all day long. Because uh, it's always on. If the power is connected to it, it is on. Uh, even without a USB plugged in. Now, if you plug in the power with no USB, uh, it's not going to power itself until it receives data. Anyway, uh, it's not it's not the quietest. So when I used to have this running, because I just got it up and running, I wanted to do a video review. Uh, every now and then at night, I'd kind of wake up and be like, what's that buzzing noise? I'd look over at my desk and see um, my MacBook uh, idle backing up a time machine. And uh, it would vibrate. And the whole desk would kind of just have a small buzz that you would notice in the like the back of your head and it would get kind of annoying anyway um those are the cons for it i guess uh it kind of gets dusty but the black kind of matches with the desk uh it has glossy on the front on the side it's got this um just textured dots with the segate logo and the hard drive is pretty high quality so uh, let's plug in the data cable now this cable is kind of flimsy so if it doesn't work on the first time uh I apologize. Anyway, right here, I want to see if you can, uh, if you guys can just turn up your volume so you guys can hear the uh, hard drive start up. It starts off with a small buzz, uh, doing a test to test that the power is working. Then the hard drive spins up at a really fast speed, 7200 RPM, and then it starts to do a read-write test to check all the partitions. I'm running four partitions on this drive right now: one terabyte backup on uh, OS 10, OS Mac OS Extended, journaled. And then the rest are, there are three FAT32 ones. Music backup, Windows for running a Windows partition, and um, stuff, which I just throw random stuff into. So here I am, in about a couple seconds, I'm going to plug in this, and I want you guys to hear and listen closely. So here we go. Three, two, let's do it. Alright, you guys can turn down the volume now. Alright, so right here, just as I plugged it in, it spun up. We got music backup stuff and uh, Segate Replica Firewire. And those are three of four partitions. Uh, the last one is Windows, which is a, uh, I think it's NTFS, whatever. I don't have any NTFS, by the way. So here is it. Uh, it dims and it gets brighter. It's hard to see on the camera. These are all off because it needs to read from an NTFS partition to... Um, excuse me there, to do this stuff here. Now, um, this is a great companion to have by your Mac because it was, it's made for Windows, but it can work on Mac. It's just a, it's a drive. You can do whatever you want with it in disk utility. Um, one thing here, it, today is March 15th, at least in the video, it's March 15th, 2013. Uh, last time I backed up was August 24th, 2012, so... I'm going to have a huge backup tonight, and uh, that's why I wanted to make this video. Anyway, if you have any questions about the drive, feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, and again, thank you guys for watching this video. I just wanted to get an in-depth review. I don't have the box on me, so I can't do an unboxing. But in the box, all you really get is this, a manual, a quick start manual on how to set up the drive and uh, how to set up NTFS Reader for Mac, but since I want to have it journaled, that's my decision. And uh, you get a USB cable and the power cable, and uh, you get a bunch of padding with it. And it tells you that um, the, the drive has like some eco-smart uh, technology to, to make it sleep when it's not being used. I changed that in the settings. It comes with a CD to install some firmware upgrade, so um, you can start using this, and then you can add settings to it. I think I have it installed. Uh, if I hit applications and hit S for Segade, uh, it's right here. It says Segate Diagnostics. If I run it on the MacBook, it might detect it, it might not, but let's see what goes on. It says my drives, um, no drives have been found because uh, whatever. Drive Diagnostics and then Activity Lights, you can enable them or disable them. It says right here, Activity Lights show when your drive is being used and sometimes uh, other information. They can be distracting in some environments, however. Uh, so you can test your drive and do this. But since I am no longer using the NTFS partition that came on the drive, uh, I can't have access to those features. They're not important, but they're just there to mess around with. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hugo33100 here today. As always, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.